Hello and welcome back to Bookish and welcome to my Saturday Hodgepodge, my weekly wrap up of all things booktube, bookish, book related things, any kind of events, other things I want to talk about. Obviously, uh, headlines around the world right now are dominated by the tragedy which is unfolding in Ukraine thanks to the psychotic leadership of Russia in the form of Vladimir Putin, uh, Ukraine, a sovereign democratic nation, a nation that uh, Russia had signed an agreement recognizing its independence has now been invaded by uh, Russia and the losses of life is, are piling up. The tragedies are coming in more and more daily and it's of course an incredibly frustrating and confusing uh, time. Uh, I have to admit that it's kind of uh, knocked the wind out of me as much as I anticipated happening based on all the news we were getting in the lead up. You know, part of me uh, has still some kind of naive sense of hope that these things can be avoided and then of course when they aren't uh, you know, there's there's a bit of a crash involved for me. Um, so I've seen a number of places where um, you could donate money uh, to help the people of Ukraine. And if I, I'll do some investigation and if I find ones that I think are credible, which I assume most of the ones I've seen from people on um, Instagram, I will leave links to those uh, below. Uh, also, I just wanted to take this opportunity to start your hodgepodge to say the Texas Governor Greg Abbott is a piece of If you don't know, uh, our illustrious race to the bottom, try to be the worst possible person you can so you can get all the Trump voters to vote for you, Governor of Texas Greg Abbott signed an executive order a couple of days ago which basically said two things uh, which are in effect uh, the state of Texas waging war on trans kids. Number one, he said that schools have to out trans kids to their parents. That if trans kids go to a school counselor or a school principal that the school has to tell the parents that their kid uh, has talked to them about being uh, a trans person. These kids come to school employees with that information because they trust them. And they don't feel like they can tell their parents. Where they feel like their parents will be angry, where they feel like or they know their parents will become abusive, they don't want to tell their parents. And school employees, you know, up to this point for the most part, have been keeping that secret and attempting to protect uh, those trans kids from whatever might happen uh, in terms of retaliation or anger from their parents. No moral judgment there, just doing what they think is best for kids. And now, Governor Abbott says they have to tell, that they have to let those kids' parents know, even if those kids come from abusive households, even if those kids have experienced abuse in their parents or in the past, Governor Abbott says they have to be told. This is just cruel uh, and incredibly unfair. In addition to that, to make matters worse, and somewhat ironically, not that the fucker has a sense of decency in his body or understands irony, he's also then said that the parents of trans kids who are helping their kids transition, you know, not medically, not surgically necessarily, but helping their kids transition, recognizing that transition, acknowledging and supporting that transition can be support can be reported to Child Protective Services for child abuse. Trans kids have no place to go. They can't go to the school. If they go to their parents and their parents support them, their parents could be reported to CPS and they could lose their children. Their children who they're just trying to love and support and help. They could lose them over this because Greg Abbott, Governor of Texas Greg Abbott, is a piece of So, what have I been reading? I have to be honest with you, here at the end of the month, as is if normal, if you've watched any of my Saturday HodgePodge wraps up, you know that at the end of the month, my reading really kind of slows down. Events going on, uh, me being back at work, even on a limited time, I've kind of cut into my reading time and a little bit of my reading uh, enthusiasm. So I haven't finished anything this week, but I have uh, been reading at things. So the first thing I've been reading at uh, is uh, The Last Thing you'll, You Surrender by Leonard Pitts. I'm almost halfway through. I anticipate finishing this book actually on the 28th uh, and, and, and finishing this as, as probably my last completed uh, Black History Month read. It is, it's a very good sweeping epic on a grand scale. It's all those things and it has, I think, just the most 
gut-wrenching, disturbing uh, description, discussion of lynching that I think I've ever read in a work of fiction. Uh, it is incredibly powerful, and um, I think if I'd read this early in the month, I would have flown through it, but right now, with my other reading and other things going on in the world, it's, it's been a little bit difficult for me to pick up this book because, you know, while I think the book will end up being a story of kind of triumph and, and hope and uplifting, it is also uh, an incredibly uh, violent book um, and uh, disturbing book in lots of ways. Uh, and right now, I'm having a hard time sticking with that. Also, I'm a part of that big, uh, I'm a part of that group that's, that's uh, reading all of, James, essentially all of James Baldwin's nonfiction that he chose to collect in this book called The Price of the Ticket. We'll be doing our third check-in on Sunday. Uh, I've got about 63 more pages in this week's uh, read to catch up with, so I'm hoping to do, uh, get that done today. Uh, and then I did, I also had talked about reading uh, some of Audre Lorde's essays, Audre Lorde's essays that she collected in Sister Outsider. And I read the first one of those, but I have not gotten any further. Uh, hopefully, if I can pick up the pace here with my reading the last few days of the month, I'll get to more of that and possibly complete it. It's not an incredibly long collection. I'm reading that uh, as an ebook. Uh, and then I, I finished three of my Book Two Prize uh, books this month. When I do the Book Two Prize, I plan to read three the first month and three the second. I'm waiting on two books that I have, library holds on. I've had those holds on for several weeks, hoping they come in next week. If they don't, I will have to uh, seek another way to get the books because I can't uh, wait around as slow as I read. I can't wait around to see if they're going to come in uh, to the library. Uh, but I'll be reading those books in the third book uh, in March for sure. And I'll be participating in March Mystery Madness in some way. And, uh, if I make a TBR video and put it out on Tuesday, then I'll, I'll outline exactly how I'm participating in March Mystery Madness. But, but those are pretty much my plans. That's my reading this week. I uh, look forward to your comments in the comment section below. And as always, thank you for watching.